Hello everyone. Uh, today, in this lecture, we are going to talk about uh, transformation of the system from the transfer function description into the state space description. So, previously in our course, we learned that state space space representation is given by the matrices A, B, and C and D in our modeling efforts. And we call this representation internal representation. representation okay and we were able to obtain the transfer function representation G of S by computing C S I minus A minus one B and here it was plus D. Okay, these two representations state space given by the ABCD and transfer function representation, which is also called external. Are related in other words, from state space, we can easily obtain the transfer function representation. But the question is that how do we go from the transfer function representation into the state space. Okay, is it any structural way to consider, given the transfer function, how we can build a state space? A simple answer to this question is yes, indeed. Given the G of S has a strictly proper transfer function or the proper transfer function, we can construct the state space. So let's look in the case when we have strictly proper transfer function. So this is C0 plus C1 S plus C2 S squared plus plus C n minus 1 S and minus one, okay, where S N plus A N minus one S N minus one plus A N minus two S N minus two plus plus a one s plus a zero is our transfer function. We also assume that this transfer function n of s numerator and denominator they don't share any common factors. So essentially n of s and d of s are co primes. Having this in mind, we just have to observe the coefficients in this transfer function representation. Here I will underline the coefficient of the numerator, and here I will underline the coefficients and the numerator. And out of 
these coefficients, we immediately can build up the state space representation. Look, so the state space that can be built directly is obtained as placing these coefficients at the lowest row with negative sign. In other words, I'm claiming we can do the following. Write minus a0 here. Write minus a1 here. Minus a2 here. And all of that up to minus a and minus 1. Okay, so this is the way how to construct the A matrix, where we just have to fill in the terms inside. Here, where the first term here is 0, next one is 1. Then, second term 0, 0, next to it is 1. Third term is 0, 0, 0, next to it is 1. And all other terms are 0, and this is the way how you can build this matrix. In other words, this is the way how one can easily build all of these are zeros, 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 zeros. So think about this is diagonal, and of diagonal you just put ones such that here you have just above the last term a and minus 1 we have 1. You place here x and b is automatically determined as 0, 0, 0, all zeros with 1 here. It's not here. Okay? So this is u. Okay? So from this transfer function, just out of the coefficients or the denominator, one can build a state space A and B matrices. What about C? C is just going to be C0, C1, C0, C1, C2, C3, C, and minus 1, X, plus here we have a zero zero. U. Okay, so you see simple expansion of the transfer function with respect to the coefficients immediately can give you the state space. This is our A here, our A matrix, our B matrix here, our D matrix here, and our C matrix here. Let's do an example of this. So let us consider an example, simple example. That is a given the g of s equal p plus s s square plus seven s plus five. Take a proper transfer function. What are our a, b, c, d? We see that x dot is equal third order, second order system, s equal to, so we will have a two terms, minus 5, minus 7, 0, 1, x plus 0, 1, it is u, y is equal 3, 1, x plus 0, 0, u. So I can easily check that g of s that is going to be obtained as a c s i minus a minus 1 b from 
the following a is following a b and c and in, the, in this case which is obviously zero it's going to provide upper transfer function finally what about if we have example of the proper transfer function let's consider that the case u of s is let's say s plus one s plus three no problem with this expression again we can divide these two polynomials s plus one divided by s plus three it's equal to one one multiplies s plus three here put minus minus so minus 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 is zero minus three plus one is minus two therefore we can rewrite this equation as one plus minus two s plus three okay in other words this already looks familiar to us because d in this case is going to be one this is nothing but writing one okay plus c s i minus a minus 1 B in other words state space in this case becomes as follows x dot equal think about here s is minus 3 so I, it's going to be minus 3x plus u of t b is 1 okay y equal minus 2x plus 1 multiplies u the claim is that this day space is going to generate the g of s equal s plus 1 s plus 3 one can easily check the following statement okay in this way we saw that easily one can transform from the transfer function into state space by using and utilizing above given formula to obtain the a b c d again state space is not unique as a function is unique there are many ways that this space can be transformed in some other form by using that x equal t z such that these new a b c and d are going to have some particular structure for example just to be diagonal matrix or to be the matrix in some other form anyhow we easily recognize that we can easily get from the transfer function